Shishka Bobber one coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Today's video, guys, it's all about critters. That's right, the power of the critters. You know them, you've had them on your main base, but have you had them on your warship yet? Probably not. Maybe some of you guys already have unlocked them. But here we are on Mini Bobber's account, and you can see I've just unlocked critters. I've even gone ahead and ranked them up to uh, rank two. And um, yeah, we've only got seven critters right now. It looks like they keep getting better the more you rank it up. You're getting more critters per upgrade tokens the more you upgrade them. So they get better the more you invest into them. That being said, the reason why I'm making a video on this today is because right now, this is effective tech. The reason is because a lot of people aren't defending against critters. A lot of people are leaving prototypes exposed, like a doom cannon or a shock blaster, and you can easily counter with a critter. This can save you GBE on shocks, it can save you GBE on a subsequent second wind where you might have had to replace more Johnsons so it's very valuable right now and that's the reason we're making this video um, let's just jump into a couple of live attacks actually let's not do that uh, one more thing there was some really interesting data that I guess it was Rick he shared with us today in the boom box let's take a quick look at it and break it down shall we um, he, we got some more ship facts for season three um, it's really interesting. So total upgrades, there have been 335 million upgrades. That's that's pretty cool. Bombardier upgrades, 666,000. Keep in mind that when you max um, uh, a character, that's a rank 5, which is considered 4 upgrades. So, I mean, you're only looking at what? Like 150,000 or more um, bombardiers running around, uh, presumably maxed. That's not a lot. So that can mean a couple of things. It means one, people haven't upgraded them all the way yet. Two, they're just running HZ. Or three, and probably more, more likely, is that people just maybe don't have enough engine rooms to unlock them. Um, I'm not sure. I would expect that number to be higher. Uh, battles drawn, six million. That's, that's people that have tied, right? <laughs> that's a lot of ties. Um, engine rooms destroyed, almost 700 million, guys. That's amazing. You can see the rifleman upgrades, Zuka upgrades, just a little bit more than riflemen. Um, and warrior upgrades, oh, I'm, I'm one of these idiots. I upgraded them a few times. Well, not idiots, but you know what I mean. Warriors have, have no place right now on warships. Uh, same with tanks. Who the heck is upgrading tanks? I don't know. I haven't seen them. Uh, Grenadier upgrades, heavy upgrades, 18 million. This is the number one upgraded troop, but obviously he comes first, right? Heavies have been really, really solid this season, so there's no surprise there. Here's the big one. Here's the big one. Battle started 335 million. Wow, guys, that is a lot of warshipping. That is a lot of warshipping. 335 million battles. And of that, how many were drawn again? Six million. So, you know, what is that? Two percent? Is that right? About 2% of the battles are ending up in draws right now. Um, but anyway, just some interesting facts. I love it when Rick throws that stuff out there. It gives us an idea of the, the vibrancy of the game. Um, so that's really cool. Now we'll jump into an attack, and now we'll feature the critters. Um, so hopefully we have good, uh, a good base where I can get some value on them. The last one I just did I had, it had some nice critter value. And so that's why I figured I'd make the video for you guys. And it's been a while. I know you missed my beautiful face. Gosh, I hope that wind isn't too bad. <laughs> One of the problems with doing videos outside, guys. Um, yeah, we might be able to get some value on that shock blaster. Most fights, as you guys know, guys, we're running 3-5 rifle gramps with a three-way split. We usually do one rifle, two gramps, one rifle, two gramps, and one rifle, and one gramp. The trick is not letting Kavan die. Um, so we'll do the standard setup here. Uh, we will have Kavan carry over on the left-hand side, and so we'll start there. Noticing the location of Boom Cannon, we'll drop the, the Johnsons right here. Then we'll go Gramp on each side, followed by a Kavan. Then we'll do our Johnson Gramp Gramp on the right. We're going to immediately shock the splash so Kavan does not run over to the right. Let's shock it now. Just do a second wind. See if we can get some value critters going. Might drop a med kit. And, um, yeah, Critter's got some value for us there. Uh, I guess we'll do one more Critter drop, another second wind, and we really need to get that next drop going on the right, but I really need to keep an eye on that Doom Cannon. Go ahead and shock it. Don't trust it. Come over here, Johnson, Gramps. Keeping an eye on things, looking okay, taking some rocket fire. I guess we should drop a shock for all that lovely splash that there to greet our Johnsons. And the idea, of course, guys, is to bart out the last engine room. And I think we'll have enough GBE for that. Let's start doing our barrage. One, two, 
three, and maybe we won't. He's gonna hit that boom mine. Goodbye, Kavan. Four, and a whole bunch of artillery, guys, and a whole bunch of wind. Come on, we just need six more GBE. Come on, baby. Boom, there it is. Wait for it. Just like that. Taking down War God in one minute and 23 seconds. Will that be enough, guys? Will that be enough? I sure hope so. I sure hope it will. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's do. He's making a pretty good time on me here, this War God guy. Oh, slight delay on the internet. Gonna be a nail biter, guys. But in the end, looks like many Bobber and his critters have prevailed, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what we want. So you see, we were able to get some critter value, and we're only throwing out seven critters at a time, so you gotta be careful. I mean, it's still not the best value, but um, it saved us shocks. It made sure we had enough GBE to help take out that final engine room. Uh, I should, probably should have done a quick overview of the old tech tree, because you guys don't always know what I got. I am into the GBE node. Where is it? I've upgraded GBE twice on Mini Bobber. You can all see we've got uh, rank three rockets. But since I'm since I'm stuck at five ER, I'm just going to be upgrading and unlocking everything anyway, right? But it's all about doing it in the most effective manner, okay? Because you always want to take your tech and make it effective. All right, let's try this again. Um, this is a standard five ER. Uh, we might get some critter value on this. We might not. Uh, yeah, we probably will with this Doom Cannon set up down here. Yeah, this will be fun. I've, I've only played with critters a couple of matches here, so they're, they're new to me on warships right now, guys. Uh, maybe you see some critter value that I'm missing, but um, this is going to be a standard delay drop. Let's get one boat of Johnson's, one, two, three Gramps. Get come on out. And then we're going to go a little further down the right side. Another boat of Johnson's, another boat of Gramps. We'll go ahead and put Johnson's up high on the left side, and we'll put Gramps up high. By the time they get there, that junk should be gone. Uh, we need to shock some of the splash on the right. It's a little bit late on that. Go ahead and do, uh, yeah, we'll do a second one. We do not want Kavan to die yet. I know those Johnsons are on their way in, though. That's why I was a bit hesitant. Shock in hand for the splash by that top left engine room. Preparing to shock, shocking. Keeping an eye on the lower flank. Um, yeah, Doom Cannon just turned. Let's shock it. Put some clear value up top. And we'll put some critter value down low. Try to get rid of that Doom Cannon. Doom Cannon's gone. Prepare to barrage. One, two, three. Still got two more engine rooms up, but we'll get this sucker down. Let's get rid of that Boom Cannon. One, two, three artillery. Get that barrage in there and rain down that artillery. Boom! Just like that. One minute, ten seconds. What do you got, Zoran Gold? You got that? You got that in you? I don't think you do, buddy. Oh, wow. Pretty fast, but uh, not fast enough, my friend. Not fast enough for Mini Bobber and his critters, that's for sure. Uh, we'll do one more match as soon as this guy hurries up. Nice mine placement, see that? Three mines. You gotta put out three mines if you want to kill the Gramps, not two. Two for Zookas, three for Gramps, guys. Um, but, I mean, he's got plenty of Gramps, but it slowed him down that much more, right? Um, and, okay, there you go, Zoran Gold. Next time, buddy. Good try, good try. Um, you just don't have the power of the critters, do you? <laughs> All right, one more. One more match, guys. Having fun. Kicking butt and taking names, right? That's what it's all about. Hope you guys are having fun in your prolonged warship season. Ah, this three months really does, really does drag on, but things are changing slowly but surely. Uh, the defenses are ramping up as people get more rockets, as people unlock that ice. It's coming. We might maybe see a rush meta maybe later i don't know um okay again standard split drop formation three-way split um there's really a ton of junk on the left that needs to go out but uh oh heck we'll just still do our standard let's see one rifle two gramps one rifle two gramps one rifle one gram you know guys the standard so let's start it off and we know we won't come on on the left so we'll start on the left Let's give it a second. I'm really tempted to throw three gramps left. I think I will. Okay, now let's go start our drop on the right. Go ahead and uh, get a second 
wind going shock in hand. Shocking for the splash. We can get some critter value pretty soon. Let's drop a med kit for critter value. Machine gun's gonna hurt a little bit. Uh, we can go ahead and start our drop on the right. Let's go Johnson, Gramps. Getting attacked by leaves over here. Um, keep a really close eye on that shock blaster. Okay, he almost took out a Gramps. Oh gosh, Kavon really needs to get some uh, Johnson's pumping. Okay, things are looking good. I really should have done more to protect this right flank. Let's see if we get a juicy shock. No, we kind of missed that flamethrower. But I think that shock's going to be juicy enough for for our juicing needs. Um, okay, uh, let's just go ahead and start our barrage. One, two, three, four, and rain down that artillery, guys. I need two more. There's one, and I need one more. There it is. Wait for it. Boom, just like that. Asian player friend hopefully goes down to Pound Town. Let's see. What do you got, buddy? You got critters? <sighs> ah, not gonna be fast enough. Not gonna be fast enough, my friend. Boom, that's how we do it, guys. The power of critters. So yeah, let me know in the comments below how your warship season is going. In fact, I need to get back to those last comments. Forgot about it. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and um, yeah, life has still been super, super crazy and hectic for me. It's going to be this way, I think, for the remaining uh, part of the summer. So I'm going to do my best to stay in touch with you guys. But I'm here. I'm playing. I'm making content. I'm making relevant stuff. And I hope you still like what I'm doing. Uh, please let me know. If you hate me, let me know that too. Um, it's just nice to hear from you guys. So with that, I think we're going to wrap it up. Hope you have a super fantastic, awesome rest of your day. And remember, like always, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean and mean people suck. Have a great day.